FISBOs. You know the ones, for sale by owner sellers who swear they don't need a realtor, but we both know that when their homes aren't selling fast, they start to reconsider. Also, fun fact, 50 to 70% for sale by owner listings end up being listed with an agent. Now, I get it, approaching FISBOs can feel like you're walking into a wall. They're confident they don't need you, they think they can handle everything on their own, and they probably get tired of agents calling them all the time. But here's the thing, that's exactly why you need to stand out. Here's the move. Offer them a sell your home yourself packet. This isn't just a sales gimmick, it's legit value. You're giving them something they can actually use, no strings attached. And that's important because FISBOs are skeptical. They've heard it all before. So by providing real actionable advice, you're setting yourself apart as someone who's genuinely here to help, not just grab a listing. Now, I know what you're thinking. Jen, what if they never call back? There's where your follow-up game comes in strong. You don't need to pressure them. Just stay consistent. Check in, ask when they're planning to interview agents and see if they're open to a quick chat about why their home might not be moving as fast as they'd like. And remember, FISBOs might be confident at first, but when the weeks drag on and they're not getting the offers they expected, that confidence starts to crack. And there's your opening. You've been there all along offering solutions and not pushing for the sale. You're positioning yourself as the expert that they can trust. So if you want to turn those FISBOs into clients, acknowledge their apprehensions, lead with real value, and follow up like a pro. Be the agent that they trust when it's time to get serious about selling.